Okay, we've set up the actuator for the end of travel, both closed and open. First thing we want to do is come to some intermediate position for the actuator and the valve position. So we just made it some midpoint between open and closed. Next, we put power onto the actuator, in this case, plug it in. First thing that comes up is that we see the version of the software, in, the case, in this case, 1.15. And then the actuator that, it, that the software is running, and again, in this case, it's a P2 at 120 volts. 24 volts would have a different number. The first number that comes up is the position of the valve, right now at 57.5%. But we haven't calibrated the actuator, so we don't know exactly whether it's 57 or 58 or 60. So the first thing we're going to do is run an auto calibration routine that will align the controller with the end of travel stops. All the controls are managed by the joystick right here. What we'll first do is go to left one, where it says position, left again, where it says real time. Now we'll go to the position for the auto cal. Down one brings you to diagnostics with some data collection. Set the process for uh, the actuator, which would be such things as the dead band, fail in position, fail close, fail open, and finally to the set to the travel. Go to the right one, it'll say set or uh, auto set, go right one more time, push to run. Push to run, auto cal four, notice the actuator is moving. It first goes to its closed position, indicated by the red light, finds its closed position, opens up about a third of a degree. That sets the uh, closed position. Now we'll go to the open position. Running open, green light comes on. Actuator, the valve, actuator drives the valve to its open position. Motor shuts off from the switch. Actuator comes forward about a third of a degree or so, that sets the open position. For all intents and purposes, both the incoming signal and the feedback signal have been calibrated. Once completed, the board says AC10, the actuator drives to the closed position. The auto calibration scheme is now set. It tells you you're done. Now we go back again to the left one where it says uh, auto set, again to set travel, back up through set process, diagnostics, real time. Now we go back over to the right where we look at, we can look at faults, process in or the incoming signal or the position. And we can see we're at the zero position.